Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ease iOS development tutorial series. This is going to be the tutorial number one where I take you through setting up your environment for iOS uh, development as well as getting set up to where we can use the Ease SDK. My name is Ben Stallhood. I'm one of the lead iOS engineers here at Appearian. So let's get started. Um, as you will see here, I have developer.apple.com up. This is the literally the portal or page where anything related to Apple development is displayed. Um, as you see here, we have iOS Dev Center, Mac Dev Center, and Safari Dev Center. Obviously, the piece that we're concerned about is going to be iOS Dev Center. Um, before we get started, though, if you haven't done so already, we you, you will be required to have some kind of account with Apple, uh, whether it's enterprise or if it's um, a standard developer account. And so if you haven't done so already, you, you want to sign up. And by doing that, if you, if you go to join the, the iOS developer program, this is the quickest and easiest way, really, um, and probably the only way that I know of to set up to get set up with Apple. So if you just click Enroll Now, this will take you through the, the, the process of getting your account uh, with Apple. It's going to cost you $99 for the year. And then once you've got that account and you're all set up, you can then come back to where uh, we will continue from here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to developer.apple.com, iOS Dev Center. And this is where everything we need, um, this, this is everything we need right here we'll access from this, from this site. So this is the iOS Dev Center. And um, so you want to have uh, Xcode downloaded and installed. Um, so let's log in. If you're part of multiple teams, it will ask you to select the team that you want to log in as. Um, if, if you're not, then you won't even see this screen. It'll just go right into the, uh, to the portal. And when you're in here, this is where you have access to download Xcode. So this is where you would download Xcode 4 and install it. So once you've installed Xcode 4, you want to go ahead and load it and you will be presented with a screen like this. The screen that we care about and the process I'm going to take you through um, requires the organizer. So if you go to Window and then Organizer, this kind of allows you to manage your devices, um, developer profiles, provisioning profiles, and also any kind of software images you may download from Apple as they release betas. Um, the reason I'm going to take you through this screen is in the portal there are um, if we go through the if we go through the portal here, there are there's a series of steps that you have to go through to get your environment set up, which requires uh, adding a device, setting up your dev certificate and distribution certificates, and then creating provisioning profiles as well as an app ID. And the great thing about the organizer is that it as it actually has um, built-in uh, shortcuts to kind of take care of a lot of the um, process for you. So instead of me having to go through certificates and like create all this stuff manually, there's actually you know a fairly detailed process you have to go through. It'll it'll basically take care of all those the steps for us. So, for example, one of the things you would have to do first is we want to create an app ID for our apps. And in this case, what's going to happen is Xcode will create a wildcard app ID for us so that we don't have to have any specific bundle identifier for our app. Also, we will need to create, we need to add our actual device we're going to be using, our iPhone or our iPads. And then we have to create a development certificate for doing dev and debugging. And then when you're ready to publish your app, you have to create a distribution certificate. So let's just step through the process and show, basically I'm going to show you how Xcode makes this a little simpler for us. So also, if you can, go ahead and load up Keychain, because as you create search and install search, the keychain, your Keychain is where those search will be installed. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up so I can show you as we install them what's going on. So I'm going to go back over to Xcode here, Organizer. And the first step I'm going to do is I notice I got my iPhone plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and right-click or control-click on my phone. And then I'm going to add device to provisioning portal. 
this is the first step you have to do because basically you have to have your device added in order to uh, write, write software for it. Now the great thing about this is as you notice I just said add device. You'll notice it says no development certificate found. Um, no, de no development certificate was found. Would you like Xcode to request a development certificate on your behalf? And then we're going to go ahead and say yes, submit request. So you see it's going through the process. It's setting up the certificate re uh, request for us. And it's actually going to go ahead and it's, it's going to do a lot of the, it's going to go through the whole process and do all these things for us. And I want to show you as we switch over to the portal. It's, and it, look at this, it says no distribution certificate found. So it once again knows that the distribution certificate's not there. So it's going to also allow us to submit that request. All right. So now we have, if we go over to the portal, Let's first of all go to devices and right here we'll see Ben's iPhone 4 was added. Gonna go to certificates and we will see that my dev certificate was submitted. I can now download it and if you go to distribution, once again you see that it added a distribution cert for me that I can download. And then if we go to provisioning, it has a team provisioning profile. It says active and it says manage by Xcode. This is a special profile that Xcode manages. It always keeps it up to date between your team and uh, keeps all the devices and your team in sync so that you guys can all use the same profiles and share your apps between each other. Also under app IDs we have the wildcard app ID uh, which is once again it, it, doesn't, it doesn't tie you down to any specific type of app identifier which we'll get into eventually. So because of that let's go to certificates and you have to install these. But one of the first things you should do is if you read this right here, it says if you do not have the WWDR, which is Worldwide Developer Relations, Intermediate Certificate installed, click here to download now. We're going to go ahead and do that. And you'll notice here, it's, it's here, so we just double click. And it's going to go ahead and install under Certificates, Apple Worldwide Developer Relations Certificate Authority. So under my search now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and also download the development certificate. Go to distribution and download that as well. And if we go to downloads again, we'll see we have both of those. So I'm going to go ahead and double click again. And then double click distribution cert. So you'll notice we have the iPhone developer and iPhone distribution search now installed under my certificates. So now the certs are installed. Also, if we go to Xcode, you will notice that the provisioning profile and has been downloaded and it's been installed on my device. So if you, you notice I'm selecting provisioning profiles on my device here, it's installed. And so this is basically, you'll notice that this, this made the process very easy for us. This is normally uh, not as easy as it would be um, or has been in the past. Normally you have to go through quite a few steps to create each search for the distribution um, and for the dev and go through all the, the manual process of creating all these things yourself. And by doing these steps, this gets you prepped to actually create your um, first app. And so our next tutorial will take you into actually creating an application using the Ease SDK. Thank you very much.